Hey guys, it's Christine. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. As you remember, today's title, you saw that I'll be doing the one tip makeup challenge. Um, I'm excited to do it. I'm actually excited slash nervous because I've never tried it. Um, and it's like nerve-wracking that you can only use like one dip of like eyeshadow and like work with what you have. But why not just give it a try? So before we do get started, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So yeah, let's get started with that. We're gonna go in with foundation. For today's foundation, I'll be using the e.l.f. foundation, this one right here. Um, the flawless satin foundation, this one. So I'm gonna put it on my hand. It's gonna be only one pump. So I'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender and just spread it out as much as possible. So I have to work with this amount of foundation. I think it'll be easier with um, the concealer because like since I do use like the liquid concealers, it has like more product on the brush so I feel like that would be easier. Now for concealer I'll be using the L'Oreal Infallible, this one right here. So. So it's whatever comes out of the product. That's how much I got. So I'll put it a little bit under my eyes. As a base for my eyeshadow later on. There on any blemishes that I have. So I think for concealer is like almost like the normal amount that I use every single time. So I just blend it out quickly. It's gonna be more of like a natural nude type of eye look for today. And I'll be using like one of my favorite palettes that I use almost on a daily basis because it does have like great colors that you could work with, easy. It's the Tarte one. Now I'm going to set my face. So I can only use it once. So yeah, I'm gonna set my face with this, um, the Maybelline loose powder that I've used before. So, there's a little bit of product right there. I have my two brushes right here. So I can only get dip on it once. Oh man. Okay, this is what I got. And now with that, I have to spread it. And equally, I'll start with my cheek area first. Just like a line. And under my eyes and throughout my cheek area and whatever is left I'll use on my nose and then forehead so yeah guys now I'm gonna go into my bronzer the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula in the color Sunkissed this one right here I'm taking a clean brush and just a pattern in once I'm just putting a little bit of pressure so I could get color that, that's as much as I'll have for my cheeks. I want to first make sure then squeeze the brush just a little bit to put on my nose. I'm only getting one. I barely got any. Oh well, that's my mistake. So. I'm really pressing it on since I do need to add more color to my face. Okay, now I'm gonna go into my highlighter palette, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Palette. This one. 
this one right here I'm gonna take this brush over here this one and I'm gonna go to use one color because I usually mix the butterscotch with the gumdrop so like these two diagonal ones but today I'll be going with this one down here so I can only get one swipe like that also on my on top of my lip now we're gonna move on to the eyes so for like everyday eyeshadow I would do it's like a nude color so the palette that I was talking about earlier is this one the Tarte Let in Bloom from Tarte this one right here on the inside looks like this and I definitely use like these colors the most as you can see I really use Firecracker and this one um, it smells so good it smells like chocolate i don't know like they have all the products it smell great so i just keep it into like more natural colors so first off i'll start off with the base would be sweetheart so i can only get one dip like that so that'll be just the base so it's a good color to start off with and I have to remember to apply out both of my eyes at the same time so I don't run out of product for one of my eyes. It's a very natural color. Now we'll be moving on with a different brush. This one right here. This one. And we'll be going in with this darker color, the color Rebel. This one dip, like that. That I'll be focusing on the outer section. I go back and forth between my eyes to see which one got more product because I don't want to have like one eye more pigmented and then the other one lacking in color and as you can see I'm bringing in the color to my crease area and to my inner part of my eye these colors work great because this is a very pigmented palette so even if you only get like one dip of the color you can see that it gives you great product we'll go into the color next to it leader just one swipe like that and that i'll just use to darken up the outer part of my eye since I can't really use eyeliner today because since I do always use like liquid eyeliner how am I gonna use it if I could only get one that it wouldn't make sense so this will give me like that look so yeah guys I'm just gonna keep it simple the last two colors I'll be adding is this color smarty pants I'm just gonna like, use my finger for this, just one swipe. It looks like this on the finger. And just apply it on the rest of my eyelid. Just make sure I do it on both eyes. And now I'm going into this one um, called Funny Girl. Gold color, it looks like this. I'm pretty sure you can see it. So I'm gonna try to apply it as evenly as possible to both of my eyes. And this type of like eye makeup look goes well with like every day clothing, like you know, with all the colors because it is very neutral. 
And then for my eyelashes, I'll be using the Volum Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. This one. So that's whatever comes up on the br brush is I'll be used for both of my eyelashes. And I'm doing it all on camera so you guys can see like, oh, I didn't add a product off camera or anything like that. So yeah guys, I finished putting on my mascara on both of my eyes. Now for lips. Um, I have two lipstick that I wear like on a going back and forth basis, but I'll just use this one for today. The Bare Minerals Color Boss is a matte color. So whatever comes out on the brush is what I'll use. So yeah guys, this is basically how it turned out. The highlighter, blush, bronzer. It's more like on the subtle side. Everyday look matches with like whichever outfit you want to wear. You could do it for work, school, meetings, anything like that. So yeah guys, I kept it on the simple side today. I hope you guys liked it. Definitely a little like fall um, neutral color look. Um, just leave down below what other videos you want to see on my channel. I'll definitely try to get to it um, And now since it is um, You know holiday seasons and everything like that Thanksgiving coming up Christmas is coming up New Year's coming up. I Am gonna have like a few videos of like setting up my Christmas tree like for my vanity and probably the one for my house as well um, Just like a few decorations that I put up and I'll definitely show you guys where I got those products from most of the products I got last year because that's the year that I got my vanity tree and then for my big Christmas tree I got it a couple years ago but I'll try to you know search them up and see if they still have it or similar products but that will be in my upcoming videos I don't know if it's gonna be up next week or in a couple weeks I still have to film it because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put up my beauty um, Christmas tree today or tomorrow and then the other one will probably be like a little longer um, other videos that I have in mind is definitely since Thanksgiving is coming up, I like to cook during Thanksgiving. So I'll definitely want to do a little recipes to give you like guides on like what recipes you could do for Thanksgiving, desserts and everything like that. Um, let's see what else I have in mind. Definitely like little outfit videos for like Thanksgiving outfits or Christmas outfits. I always like to wear for like Thanksgiving like these type of colors, like more like the orangey bronze colors. That's perfect. my preference for Thanksgiving and then for um, Christmas, more like a, a bright color, maybe like red um, or like plaid t-shirts or dresses, it depends. But I'll definitely be filming those type of videos coming up on my channel. I hope you liked this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment down below any recommendations or what other videos you want to see on my channel. I'll definitely get around to checking out those comments. Please like, comment, subscribe and share this video with your friends and family and as well if you want to follow me on any of my social medias they'll all be in the description box down below my instagram my facebook and i did make a twitter so if you want to follow me there it's going to be in the description box as well so yeah guys um i'll see you guys next week thank you so much for watching bye guys